Welcome back to JSTU. Today we are going to see about working with vectors, uh, basic uh, visualization of vector or uh, shape files in QGIS. In the previous video, I have shown you uh, how to uh, familiarize yourself with QGIS software, the main uh, toolbars, uh, and how to save. Uh, projects and how to open the projects and how to uh, continue with, within the existing or within the saved event projects therefore we have uh, and also i have shown you about the browser the, the panels and the processing toolbox therefore today i'm showing you how to add the uh, data by using uh, different methods this is the processing toolbox C or T drive or E drive, whatever you have. Now, uh, this uh, in my case, D drive, the data is available in D drive. Uh, therefore, let me find the data that I want to add. Yes, great. Now, let me add, uh, for example, uh, this one. This is you now polygons. Yes. And let me add also some, uh, this is polygon type, and let me add some uh, point data, for example. Yes, this is health facilities, available health facilities within these administrative boundaries. And uh, let me add also uh, roads. Yes, yes, this is roads. So, three types of data. Uh, is available or displayed here yes now let me uncheck road if you want to uncheck road uh, you can do just like this and this is health facilities now let us right click here and go to properties yes uh, information information about this point data for example uh, the first one is uh, it says general name as facility zero so it is the name of the shared file and a path uh, is the location of the data where you put geometry the most important one is uh, this one geometry what is the geometric type of this uh, shape file it is already point and facilities are uh, symbolized or uh, by points and uh, extend this to this one uh, feature this one coordinate systems for example unknown so uh, now let us go to the second one uh, source uh, it is health facility 03 this is uh, data source encoding this one uh, assign coordinate reference system and now let us go to symbology yes Let's, for example let us click on here for uh, for example as as i said you it is uh, has facilities even though it is not hospital so it has its own uh, international cartography symbols uh, for example uh, it is hospital when we click this one it changes to uh, this let us apply yes as you can see here, the symbol already changes. The symbol already changes. This uh, symbol is much larger. Now let us uh, minimize the size. Let us change it to, for example, inches, uh, millimeters, or inches. Uh, okay. Uh, points. Okay. Apply. Yes so now let us increase to 10 apply it's great so uh, by this method you can change uh, your uh, symbology or your, your uh, modification for example if you want to change towards this can okay apply yes yes you can change the name you can change the color of your uh, apply okay great still uh, the size of the symbol is the size of the symbol is too big now let me 
Okay, change it let minimum minus to five. Yes, apply. Okay, great. Great. Now let us go to the second uh, one, which is uh, uh, the polygon, or in this case, the uh, zonal administrative. Now click on properties. Under symbology, go to uh, simple field, for example. Now let us change this uh, simple field to, for example, let me let me make this one or uh, let me make this one. okay yes apply okay you can change like this or uh, this is also fill style this is a color and this is a fleece style it says uh, solid color no bush no bush means there is no color if you apply here there is no color or if you want to uh, add uh, select another one you can see here yes or if you select this vertical you can see here based on your uh, interest or if you select cross you can uh, play here yes great and uh, based on your uh, option you can change stroke color for example you can uh, add this one okay apply yes this is a border color or the, out the outline color uh, let me return back to road this is a road shape file for example let me make to zoom to layer this is a road shape file at the same time double click on road shape file this is a color of Roadshop file. Roadshop file is basically real color. So uh, let me increase the width to, to yes, apply. Yes, it is too big. So now let me in decrease zero point five. Yes. Apply. If you can see, it is uh, re, uh, uh, the road network. Yes, great. It is a road network. Uh, product styles, for example, uh, to f if it is a paved uh, roads, or if uh, you can uh, select this one, or uh, you can several symbologies has been uh, available here you can select you can select and just click ok so there are uh, three types of shape files line shape file point shape file and polygon shape file now you can change and unchange you can uh, select and deselect and you can uh, explore uh, by using uh, properties now later uh, let me uncheck this one if you uncheck this one yes if you uncheck this one the root network will uh, disable if you check this one the root network will be enabled so now let me go to health facilities right click open attribute table yes as facility name, there is no name at all. As facility type, clinic, health post. Yes, clinic in health post. So you can uh, label these health facilities based on health type. Attribute table is a description of your data. What type of data, what is your name, and uh, what amount of data is stored. Is you, you can get from attribute tables. For example, let me go to zone also and open attribute table. Yes, one, two, three, the two zones. First name this one, first zone name this one. So this is a zone name, this is a region, and this is a number. So in order to label this one, you can use first zone name, uh, field name. So let me remove, uh, close this one and 
Let me uh, go to all facilities and go to all properties. Then uh, just go to labels and single labels. So based on uh, what you are going to leave as facility, apply. All it does is clinic, clinic, clinic. It says in a killer. So it is a name. Yes. And let me click OK and yes. so let me uncheck health facilities and let me go to zones. This is one administrative, this is another administrative, and this one is another administrative. So now I go to properties again. Levels it says no levels. Now let me Selecting links. So, for example, uh, first so name and play. Yes, this one. Yes. Now let me select the. For example, let me select. Let me select this. You can select what you want. Example this one and play. Yes, uh, you can select bold or you can select bold italic. Play. Yes, this one. And you can select the color. This one. And play. Okay. And play. Yes. Or you can select also another. And you can modify it as you want. Okay. Yes. So you can uh, label, you can study the property, uh, where you can get the property from attribute tables. And uh, you can see, uh, you can get the information from uh, properties. So as the name indicates, it provides the basic properties of your data types. Therefore, this is uh, what we have uh, today. Those of you who, who is uh, new to this YouTube channel, please uh, subscribe and comment, share as well.